Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new battery from Red Odeo. It is a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, but what makes it special? What makes it new? Let's go ahead and open it up and find out. Okay, let's open it up and see what we got. All right, in typical Red Odeo fashion, you get a, a, a whole sleeve of uh, material. Looks like you get your product manual and uh, kind of some quick start, quick start items. And they love to send out stickers. So we got some stickers too. Okay, I see, I see that it says, uh, tear me off. Uh, here are the post bolts, but the sticker is actually in the wrong spot. Uh, if you tear this off, there's nothing underneath. The post bolts are all right here. Nice thick styrofoam. That's what I like about Red Odeo. Uh, they do a good job with packaging their product so it will not move and it's pretty well protected. Okay, and here is the battery. Uh, it looks just like all of the other Red Odeo 12 volt standard size uh, 100 amp hour batteries. The one thing that's new about this battery is it does have low temperature charging protection. So that is something we're definitely going to test out. And uh, I don't test my items by cutting them open and spraying cold spray on the temp sensor. I actually throw it in a freezer and I leave it in there for 24 hours and then I try to charge it. That's how I feel is the, the proper way to do it. Just because that way you know for certain that if it's below freezing, it's not going to charge. All right, well, uh, I charged this battery all the way up uh, last night and this morning I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, capacity test. But I realized that when I connected it, it only shows 12.92 volts, which I always feel like lithium iron phosphate batteries should rest around, you know, 13.3, 13.4, something like that. So I think that's odd, but I don't think it's a big deal. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go ahead and set this test up so it charges the battery back up to 14.6 and then it will do the discharge test just to make sure uh, that we had a full charge and then we'll do a full discharge. So I'll go ahead and get that all set up, run the test, and I'll show you the results in a little bit. Okay, well this battery completely fooled me. I just started the, the discharge test, and check this out. You can see that when the test started, I said I was gonna charge it up to 14.6. Well, as soon as the test started, the voltage shot all the way up to like, you know, almost, almost 18 volts, and then it shot right back down. So the battery was full. It just did an initial charge and it knew that it was full so it shot it up really quick and then it stopped. So, and then I waited for a minute and then when I started the discharge test, it went from 12.9 up to like 13.3 or something like that, right here. And now it's doing the, now it's doing the discharge test. So that is, uh, that's very peculiar. I, uh, I think that, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's like a feature of this battery where it kind of holds at a lower voltage in the BMS, but I find that pretty interesting. Okay, on with the test. Okay, so the capacity test for the Red Odeo is finished, so let's take a look. And you can see right there that the capacity is 105.79 amp hours. So it passed the 100 amp hour test, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and start a high amperage discharge test. All right, well, I've got this Red Odeo charged back up and now we're gonna do a max amperage test. First, we're gonna do uh, a continuous 100 amp uh, discharge uh, for five minutes, just to make sure that it can uh, power the maximum what it says it can. And then in the documentation, it does say that it can do a five, or, I'm sorry, it can do a 300 amp discharge for five seconds. So we've got a whole slew of things here that is going to get me up to that. So first of all, let's do the 100 amp test. Okay, well, I got the test started. Let's go ahead and press this. I got the timer set. It's going at 100 amps exactly right now coming out of the battery. What we have is this 200 watt heater. We have uh, my Blue Eddy charging at like 150 watts. And then I have this, uh, this heater over here. Uh, set on low, so it's about uh, 600 watts. 
So we're gonna let this run for about five minutes just to make sure it can do it. Okay, we have reached the five minute mark. Actually, it's five minutes and 15 seconds almost. And we've been doing 100 amps continuous with no problem at all. So it definitely can uh, do its max discharge test uh, for a continuous at 100 amps. So let's see what happens if we push it to maybe 200 amps. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on this little heater right here, and we're gonna set this, this heater over here on high. So that should give us probably around 200 amps. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, we actually got 234 amps going on right now. And look at that, it shut off. You can see right there, there's absolutely nothing coming out of the battery. So the battery has done its job. All right, I am very happy to see that. A battery with a 100 amp discharge should not be able to do a 200 amp discharge for more than a few seconds before the BMS tells it to shut down. So that's great that this battery shut down about five seconds after I pushed up that load to 230 amps. So now that we know that the over amperage protection works, um, let's go ahead and throw it in the freezer because I wanna see if the uh, cold temperature charging protection works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it in my deep freezer and I'm gonna leave it there for 24 hours. Uh, that should make it so this battery is nice and frozen and when I pull it out and try to charge it, it should not charge. See you in 24 hours. Okay, oh, hi. Okay, it's been, uh, it's been about 24 hours. This thing should be rock solid cold. Let's see if it charges. Ah, uh, and it's charging. It should have not charged at all, but it started charging and it charged for a good five to 10 seconds. And uh, you know, so I, I took it off. Uh, if, if it does have cold temperature charging protection, um, it's either not set to not charge below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which it should be, because this is well below 32 degrees. Uh, it's been in a zero degree freezer for the past 24 hours, so it should be zero degrees actually. So unfortunately, I cannot say that this passed the, uh, the cold temperature charging test. Okay, so what do I think of the 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odeo? Um, well, it, uh, it passed all the tests that I have except for one, which is the one that has labels all over it. Uh, it's, that's the cold temperature charging protection. Now, I don't doubt that it does have a cold temp sensor inside, but it could be just a simple thing like they're holding that sensor on the cells with a blob of glue, and that blob of glue is insulating the sensor itself so it doesn't sense the temperature correctly. Um, other than that, the, uh, the over, over uh, amperage protection is perfect. Uh, you know, it, it holds 100 amps for as long as you need, but once you jump up over 100, you know, once you go to 200, it only does it for like five seconds and then it shuts it off. Red Audio also claims that this battery can be used for trolling motors. Um, it claims that it can run um, trolling motors up to like a 70 pound thrust with one battery. Um, and I believe it because it can do a, 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 an amperage surge of up to 300 amps for five seconds. So that should be able to start that trolling motor that you need. Uh, when it comes to the capacity, it does go over capacity. I think it did like 105 amp hours of total capacity, so that's perfect. So if you have any questions about this Red Audio, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this battery in my description so you can click on that to read more about it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great night. Bye-bye.